Ryan, yeah. many congratulations. 3 2 win there, I believe, for Ashton. Just some of your emotions after that one. I no words really. I thought I was cruising. You know, I felt good. Even the last day, because when I first class set, I was cruising. I felt good. But, you know, it's easy to take one to one for a life, two sets. And obviously, there are two and four, four, some bit of trouble. But, you know, I helped together. I was just so pleased I've gone through. And that must give you confidence. At least you battle back really well in, in fairness for a 2 0 down, facing great dark. To, to respond and, and come back and close it out must give you confidence going forward. Oh, 100%. You know, I, I always knew Lisa, she's capable of a you know, 110, really dark. A purple patch. So you know, I expected that a two 0 up. I didn't feel like she got going at all. So um, I feel like I was planning right. But once the three does it double, I think in the third set she really come alive. And like, you know, I was under serious pressure from the crowd and everything. So um, I'm just so happy to come through. Uh, 2022 has been a break for a year for you. Your first Pro Tour semi-final a couple of months ago. So you must come into this event with real confidence behind you. Yeah, no, definitely. Yeah, I, you know, when the draw come out, I was, you know, I was sort of happy. You know, you're under a bit of pressure, family, so. But you know, I listened. To, I had a bit of advice over the last few months, and um, listened to Willie last night when he beat Bo. You know, you got to think about another game of darts. More pressure you put on yourself. You know, you're, you're more in danger. So, um, so yeah, I you know, just fought for another game. You just beat the four-time women's world champion. Up next is the five-time world champion Raymond Van Barneveld. What are your thoughts on, on playing Raymond in the second round? You know what? You know, right, so I've won a game now. Well, that's, for someone like me, it's a big game. You know, to get through one game, you've got to be blinding now. And you, be a heavy favourite, so um, I'm fucking relaxed, play what I can. I fancy it, I want to be in the Christmas still. Mm. Right, congratulations. You said that 2 0 in cruising. Mentally, did you switch off a little bit going into that third set? Do you know what? Actually, I didn't because I knew you know I, w- I wanted to finish it off, and from the word go, my head was straight on it. You know, I knew I was a bit booed, bit of you know, I was under a bit of pressure, but I just missed it. I think I finished really well before that moment, and I had three dice at double, missed it, and then she punished me for you know six, seven legs, put a back to two walls. So it's my own fault, but yeah, you yeah, know, I'm just like, You said obviously you listened to, to William, whatever, and we know that Bo, Lisa, and Fallon are doing great things, but is there still a little bit of a stigma about playing the women in the World Championships? Um, I think a little bit. Um, you know, Lisa, she's on it, she's just as good as any of them other everyone else here, so, um, but like I said, you lose, you set up to lose, so you're going to get all over the news, all over everything, so there's always, there's always a little bit of pressure, but um, luckily, you know, I spent my call over the last few months, and um, I just got to believe myself, I think, you know, I'm good enough to be here, I'm lucky enough, I stuck through. As in, as in MVG, spoke to Yeah, I know I say too much, but um, <laughs> after Michael being in my head, I had a good chat with him and Jason, and, um, you know, he told me a few things which I don't think I knew before what I need to do. You know, a bit more confidence. And, um, yeah, I think I paid off tonight at two all when I was under pressure. Yeah, come out. Last year you won your first game and then come back and you didn't perform particularly well in, in round two. What have you learned from that and what can you put right this time around? It's, it's another thing in the learning book. Um, I've learned from that. Last year when I won, I thought I was going to kick on and play better. And I didn't, so um, you know, the next thing on my list is to win a second round game at the world. I want to be in at Christmas, and make it turkey and taste a bit sweeter. So um, yeah, it's my next game. Right, make it thank you. Ryan, you seem confident after that win and going up against Barney. After that, you'll you'll be going in, in good spirits. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah, um, I say there's no pressure on me. He's going to be the favourite. He's obviously playing well again. So, but you know, if I, I honestly believe if I can play like I can, I'm going to win. So. Um, I think that's the next step in my career, to look at the round game at the world. So yeah, you know, I've got prepared for that now and hopefully I'll do the job. Do you feel like you're on the edge of sort of something with getting into the match plays, getting into the Grand Prix? It feels like you're just one step away from that sort of progress. Not really, I don't think about the table or the amounts and that too much. I, I literally just want to win every game I go up there, you know. You've got your family watching at home and all I want to do is just win because I've been such happiness doing the one and even me, you know, it's just a relief to win there. So, um, oh, you know, one game at a time, which is good. Cheers, Ryan. Thank you. Ryan, have you played Barney before? I have, yeah. i played him four or five times, I think. I've beat him twice, so um, obviously not on a big stage like here, so, um, you know, maybe that's the big step to beat on a big stage. I just, you know, I think the pressure's on him now. Obviously, he's stuck in the top 32 the last weekend or whatever, so um, yeah, no, I've been good. Now I've won a game. Can you show us back your background? It says you're a barber, you're a full time. 
Uh, yeah, I am full time cutting hair. Next year, I've took a bit of a step, cut down a day a week. So, um, you know, I realise now this is what I want to do. And I think if I can have another day or two a week, practice every day, it might not work, it might work, you never know. But unless you try, you never know. No, no, I get a few people ask, you know, not hair but no, I've never got them done. Right, you're up against the party down the crowd tonight. You might be on Tuesday. How do you deal with that? And what do you want to go into Tuesday? Do you know what? I, I thought tonight, you know, I expected to get, you know, I won't be the crowd favourite, so I expected to be a bit nervy, but I, I, I feel like, you know, I handled it quite well. Um, obviously, against Barney on Tuesday, I'm not going to be the same, but I don't think you can get booed going for doubles and all that sort of stuff. So, um, you know, I, I cut five off it. If I can, you know, win a leg, give it a big and back. I'm just going to enjoy it. Lisa's quest for a first win here goes on. What would your message be to her having a plunge? Oh, it's, it's easy to say now, but she's honestly the most nicest woman you'll ever meet. She really is, you know, she's lovely. And um, her, Fallon, obviously Bo last night, what they've done to bring on the women's game, it's just incredible. So, um, you know, she, she really is a nice woman. So I, I do feel a bit bad, but, you know, I had a job to do. Well, you were 10 years old when you passed the one that time. Do you remember it? <laughs> no, I don't remember when you were 10 years old. No, I'm still down, so... Um, Do you remember watching them growing up? Oh, yes, definitely. Yeah, yeah. Here in Taylor. They were legends of the game, so... Um, I, I don't remember that far. I'm too young for that. So, I'm hoping I could be you in this one. <laughs> A little bit the uh, same question. Uh, your the first title of uh, Barney was when you were two years old. Uh, what's your opinion about uh, Barney and uh, you know, what are the words uh, coming up when you think about Raymond Barney? Like I say, he's an absolute legend. You know, what he's done and that come from obviously retired, come back. I don't think many would expect him to be top 32 after two years. Obviously, he had a great grand slam. So yeah, you know, he's, I've played him quite a few times luckily, so um, there's no reason, he's just a legend of the game, I'm just looking forward to playing him.